We're going to start with a closer look at choking prevention for children. It is the fourth leading cause of unintentional deaths in children under the age of five, and at least one child dies from choking on food every five days in the U.S. The size of a child's windpipe is about the size of a drinking straw, and combinations of food size, shape, and texture can all pose threats. But precautions and education can cut down on these injuries, just like the swift actions of a local lunch lady who's being called a hero after saving a choking student's life. Let's check in with Mike Holden. He's live with their story and the importance of first aid training. Mike, she's surprised by all the recognition she's received. Danita, good morning to you. Yeah, she said it's shocking to be considered a hero and to get all of these accolades for saving this child's life. But she said she had to do what she had to do. Maternal instinct kicked in. She spotted something was clearly wrong. She cut through all of the chaos in the middle of the cafeteria. And this morning, that girl's family is thanking her personally. How's your day going? North Royalton area mom of two, Megan Kulikowski. We're good. Have a great day. Take serious pride in her job as a cafeteria worker. Whether it's prepping Padua Franciscan High School's famous chocolate chip cookies in the back kitchen. You're all set. Thank you. Or waiting on lines of students in the morning and afternoon lunch periods. You really do grow a bond with them and you know them personally and you just want to make sure that they're all okay and all taken care of. And taken care of has been given a whole new meaning. Back on September 1st, Kulikowski was stopped in her tracks in the middle of the cafeteria. I was at the register ringing and I had students coming up and a girl came to the side and a kind of surprised to see her there. She tells News 5 something was seriously off as she watched the teenage girl's face become more and more flushed while she gasped for breath. I could hear her um, mumble help, but you could tell that it was struggled and uh, just kind of caught me by surprise. I yelled for help. I threw my arms around her. Some students watched from nearby tables as Kulikowski ditched the checkout line and performed the Heimlich maneuver. Honestly, I didn't even have time to think of what it could have been. I just knew we had to help her and get whatever it was out. Um, and I was totally caught by surprise when I looked at the ground and it was a bottle cap from a water bottle. Kulikowski successfully dislodged the bottle cap from the girl's airway, which she apparently had been chewing on. Like any good mom, she then grabbed some water for her and helped her get to the school nurse. She said thank you. She said, you know, she was okay. She wanted, again, none of the attention. She just wanted to go back to class. The family of the child says they feel blessed and eternally grateful to the cafeteria staff for looking out for her. Kulikowski says she's a bit caught off guard by the newfound recognition and praise. But at the end of the day, she says it's what any of her fellow cafeteria moms would do. I'm taking it all in. I am greatly appreciative, but again, I don't feel like I did anything else that any of these women, other women wouldn't have done. You know, we all care about these kids so much. And moms and grandmoms do it best. In fact, four of those cafeteria workers have either kids or grandkids themselves that attend Padua Franciscan right here in Parma behind us. And it's so important to note as well, Danita, when I asked Megan, I said, you know, what is the primary takeaway that you want people to get from this story and why you're sharing it? She said that first aid is critical. And when they roll out these training videos as well as these seminars, we often are there to observe it initially and then it's in one ear and out the other. But in this case, that Heimlich maneuver training and the regular courses year after year legitimately saved this girl's life and it could save several more kids' lives for years to come. Perfect example of why it is so important, Mike. And she is a hero uh, and will always be to a lot of people there. Thank you so much. You know, foods with the highest choking hazards for children, hot dogs or other chunks of meat, Nuts and seeds, whole grapes, certain candies, and also peanut butter. The Nationwide Children's Hospital suggests that cutting foods into half-inch pieces so if they do swallow their food, it won't get stuck. You should not let your kid eat in the car. Don't let them eat while they're walking around, and always keep your eye on them.